Cyberpunk's modding scene has never been in a better spot than right now. There are more new mods than ever, adding tons of cool new features and changing up the gameplay in very interesting and unique ways. That's why today we'll take a look at 9 of the best new mods in Cyberpunk 2.0 and Phantom Liberty. But before we jump in with today's video, a quick word from our sponsor. World of Warships Legends is a massive multiplayer online game that puts you at the command of your very own warship in some of the most intense and fun naval battles. With both PvE and PvP game modes to take on, its engaging gameplay is easy to get into, but you will need strategy to ensure your win. And if you ever want to switch up your game, there are hundreds of options from battleships all the way to the swift and deadly destroyers. And it all looks incredible when enjoying it on the big screen on both Xbox and PlayStation consoles. But you will definitely want to jump in the upcoming Black Friday event starting November 6th with a big sale coming up on November 24th and grab yourself one of these amazing time-limited black ships to crush up your enemies. Plus, there is a free special bundle to claim, bonus doublons on new purchases, and tons of discounts for XP boosters and commander crates from the 24th up until December 11. So totally check out World of Warships Legends using my links below and take part in the epic Black Friday event. Huge thanks again to the team for the sponsorship and now back to our video. Now, I used to love modding real-life cars into games like GTA 5 back in the days, so I'm more than happy that more options are getting added to Cyberpunk as well, like this really cool black matte BMW M4. Does it look completely out of place? Absolutely, the interior especially definitely doesn't fit this future setting, but that's not the reason why you're installing these. You're doing so because you just want to have a bit more fun. And there are many more in there, like this really cool Koenigsegg Gimera. There are in fact a lot more, including the more expensive and faster Regera that you can find from a different mod author. Both of them have some insanely animated interiors, and being the hypercars that they are, they don't really feel as out of place as some of the other normal everyday vehicles. The Regera especially goes way above 300 km an hour in the game, which if you know anything about the limitations of the game, it's probably faster than almost any other vehicle by default. You can also use the virtual car dealer to buy these more easily, but be prepared for some really steep prices. I think in total they should cost around 1 million eddies, which is somehow less expensive than their real price tags. Nonetheless, there are many more including many McLarens, which in my opinion are some of the coolest looking, like the 765 LT, but there's also variants in there like the P1 and the 95 F1. You'll find of course all the links down below that you can download these and have fun with them right away. But if you want to ride with your homies in style, well mostly just one, Johnny, then totally get the passenger mod. This now adds Johnny Silverhand as your very own passenger whenever you take a ride throughout Night City with any vehicle. There are multiple variants with different spawn rates, but I prefer the one in which he spawns all the time. He also has his own voice lines and will react differently whenever you drive too recklessly. So if you crash into other vehicles, run over people, or just drive like a maniac, he will be quite obviously disappointed of you. But moving on to 3, this really started becoming one of my favorite new mods. It's called the Law Enforcement Overhaul and it expands so much on the already amazing Police Overhaul CD Projekt Red added after 2.0. So one of the things you'll notice is that a lot more new enemies, vehicles and even police troops will start spawning at different star ratings. So besides the NCPD cops, you will find these long coat detectives, there are NPC netrunners too, and even the mechanized units will now actively spawn and chase you at higher wanted levels. And they all spawn in greater numbers too, like the version I downloaded can have more than double the NCPD forces that usually spawn in the default game. Which, if it wasn't challenging enough before, it should definitely be now after this. On top of that, you'll also notice a lot of new special vehicles like the armored truck spawning and even my personal favorite, max stacks. So they can have their own versions too of ground vehicles once you reach 5 stars. They will still drop from their flying AVs, but on the way they can also spawn from these like unique versions as well. And fighting several teams of max tech agents, let me tell you, is not easy, so better get a build ready for that. Now the mod pretty much overhauls everything, so you will find even undercover police cars patrolling the streets. You might bump into one and all of a sudden see that there are a bunch of detectives that will just start chasing you. And there are a lot of different spawning units depending on the districts, even more differently than the base version of the game. 
Now at number four, we have a couple of smaller mods, but with a great impact. One of them is map street view. And just like what the name implies, this will add rotation and pitch adjustment to the map using the arrow keys. The vanilla version is kind of static. However, this is going to let you better orient yourself and kind of check the map and also take a look where points of interest are exactly situated, especially in some of the tight and overcrowded places like Japantown or the city center. Besides this, there are various permanent reset attribute mods out there that you can definitely use if you just want to have a permanent option to constantly reset your skill trees and try different things out, especially after Phantom Liberty. I constantly like changing my builds around and experiment with stuff, so this helps a ton. And if you are like me, you will definitely want one of these mods installed instead of like just relying on backup saves and different playthroughs, which can be a lot more convoluted. And if you're planning to use that, then totally check out the number six mod, which is Immersive Rippers. So this is now going to make Ripper Dogs spawn closer to the operation chair and provide a much more immersive trip when modifying your body at their locations. There's also a separate module for Victor too, giving him back all the animations he had at the start of the game every single time you visit him. So I'm not sure about you, but these were some of my favorites and I'm glad that I can have them back every single time. Plus, all the other Reaper Dogs around the city now also kinda have some new unique dialogues that personally I didn't even know they existed and they will usually just stay closer to you when you perform these um, implants and other body modifications. You will however lose some of the new animations in 2.0 that play after applying an implant, so hopefully there's gonna be an update to this mod that lets that in the future. Or you can install just the Victor mod and leave everyone else the same as before. But if you ever wanted to play with smart LMGs, then at number 7, you should totally check out the Midnight Arms add-on variant. So this adds a new light machine gun that you can buy from any weapons vendor, especially in Watson, and even a legendary crafting spec from Wilson to max it out. And as you would expect, this makes the LMG get a smart link mechanic, which will now make your bullets auto-track your enemies. My favorite thing about it is that it doesn't feel out of place nor overpowered for even a single second. It gives some decent bonuses to headshot damage, some armor penetration and a pretty decent lock on time, but when you play with it, it feels not out of place. So this lets you combine two different attributes in interesting ways, the intelligence and the body, because you can get the smart weapon bonuses from intelligence and combine this with the ones that handle LMGs in the body line. And the combo is pretty great, there's no wasted bullets with this, since most of the bullets will just auto-track to enemies, which is complete opposite from most of the other LMG builds out there. And since you also get about 20% of your ammo back when obliterating targets, you almost never have to rely on reloading. Now the only problem, just like in the case of any LMGs, is that you do kind of burn through ammo very fast, and it kind of sucks because you cannot craft any new ones in the middle of combat, so that's why it feels quite balanced, and the weapon looks really cool. But speaking of cool, at number 8, if you ever wanted to have Songbird's intricate body modifications, then there is a mod for that available right now. And it's called Songbird Cyberware 4V. This brings back quite a few variants to play around with, including this really cool exposed skeleton in the back and arms that you can now have featured on your character. To make it complete, you will also want to pick the piercing number 12 in the appearance change menu so that it also connects to your head and it gives you that full back body modification. Otherwise, you'll just be staring into an empty void, which is going to be your head. But as you would expect, attention to detail is top notch here with lots of wires, pumps and hydraulics being layered together. CDP are really missing out here by not giving these options to the player. At this point, it doesn't really make any sense, but at least we can use mods to bring these modifications to V. Anyway, last but definitely not least, we have a mod that contributes the most at making Night City feel more alive than it's ever been. And this is called Night City Alive. And what it does is that it greatly expands upon the gang conflicts all around the Night City. As in, mainly it makes gang members to now also drive vehicles and spawn through traffic. You might have them solo driving their own car or accompanied by their own crew and kind of just like going there, probably doing drive-bys or whatever gangs are doing. 
plus you will see members from all gangs roaming through the city so full scale gang warfare is no more than a small bump away. I went with the version that has the highest spawn rate because this just causes the most amount of chaos and as you might expect it literally happens every single turn you make. With the max variant there are almost always going to be a few gang vehicles on any street and almost always end up with a deadly fight involving them. What's funny is that this can cause other nearby NPCs to react as well. So civilians might also become aggressive and fight back. NCPD cops will oftentimes also intervene to stop the conflict. And nearby gang groups might also get aggroed. And what happens is that, yeah, all hell breaks loose. I believe there are even mods out there that can provide different bonuses to different gangs so that you can have a more immersive experience. But even in this state, you'd better be ready because you'll never know when you take the wrong turn and yeah, just end up in the crossfire. And that's pretty much it with the best new mods. Let me know down below if there's any others that you found that are really cool and worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.